Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Uh, we're back working on the project truck. Uh, today we're gonna swap the mirrors out on this thing. Okay, so here's where the mirrors are. These are just old and faded. I mean, they're 24 years old and the driver's side was all punched out over here and they were held on with screws. So we're gonna pull these off and uh, show you just how easy it is to swap them out. First step is gonna be to pop the door panel off and there's one screw here and then we're gonna have to remove this. And the way to remove this is you either need a tool to get the pin out, there's an actual metal pin in the back here, or you can actually press in and just use a flathead screwdriver to drive the pin. And I'll show you what the pin looks like once we get it popped off so you, you can understand what we're doing with this one. Okay, so there it is, it came off, and all that pin is, it's right here, and we just popped it out, and it just, it just clips onto this. There's groove right here, and it just clips across it, so you have to use the screwdriver to pop it out from the back. We've got this screw out, and basically this just, pull the door handle, and it unsnaps in the back. comes right off all right the next step is here on the door handle there are two seven millimeter bolts so there are two bolts up in there those are the next two that have to come out okay the next step is you're just going to have to pry the door the the little clips that are in here and there's usually i think there's three down this side and then like three across the bottom and one there and then there's a couple up here too and all we're going to do is just you can use a pry tool they're old enough that we can pretty much just pull them out and you can see that's what they look like and we're just going to pop all of these out and then the next step is to just lift the door panel up off of the track and take it out all right, there we go. The door panel is off. Now, this one doesn't have any electric. I don't have any electric door locks or electric windows, so there's no electrical. But if you do have electrical, you're going to have to unplug those from here in the hand rest or wherever they're at before you can remove the door. Now, this is your moisture protector. It's the moisture guard to keep your door panels from getting wet from the rain that comes down into the window. Make sure you retain this, and if it's falling down, you might have to put new urethane on to hold it in place. All right, now here for the mirror, we've got three little plugs. We're gonna pull these out. Don't lose them, hold on to them. They're just more for moisture protection than anything. And now once we get that, if you look in here, you have access to the three bolts that are holding the mirror on now these aren't electric mirrors or anything so it's just a matter of taking the three bolts off having somebody else hold the the old mirror before it comes off okay now here are the replacement mirrors um just a nicer version of what we have it's you know not dulled out and you can tell that the screws and stuff look similar on the two, but the bolts are actually a little bit different thread patterns, so they're gonna come with their own. I'll probably add a set of uh, lock washers to it when we go to put it on, just to make sure everything holds. Yeah, as you can see, there's like this uh, foam protectant that goes on here that fits into where the other one came off. This I pulled off of the old mirror because I liked it better than the replacement that came with it. And we basically just sip it into the three holes. You hold it from the outside and you put the washers back on. But uh, I am gonna add some lock washers to each side just to make sure everything is tight and everything works out the way I want it to. All right, there it is. Everything's tight. The new bolts are on. The mirror's held in place. And now it's just a matter of buttoning it up, putting the stoppers back in and the door panel on and working from reverse.